Hello, everyone and fellow cleaning enthusiasts, and if you're new here, welcome. I'm Renee, and I clean, declutter, and organize my followers' homes for free. So today I'm going to be back in the bonus room to deal with all of these books, and then I'm going to move into the garage where there is a tool room and a food pantry, and then start cleaning out the garage. I'll do before and after videos after each room. When I left this homeowner yesterday, we both agreed that I could come early to work on the books. So I got to the home at 7 a.m. and snuck in and quietly went upstairs. My goal was to be very, very quiet. Because of her medical condition, she usually doesn't get moving until 9 a.m., so I wanted to complete this room before she got up and moving. She gave me direction the day before of any books that I needed to look for. And the only thing that she wanted me to look for was any type of family Bibles. So if you haven't watched day one, click on the link above to watch that first. After I left the house the day before, I stopped at Home Depot and got about 25 small boxes to be able to store the books in. So here's a quick recap of the backstory. This is a touching story of my experience aiding a dear friend of a past homeowner I assisted. She was navigating a tough time following her husband's passing, tasked with decluttering and cleaning the home that they lived in for over 40 years. He had died just two weeks previously. About seven years ago, her husband lost one leg. His living area was on the first floor due to a broken prosthesis. He was awaiting a custom replacement. A male nurse assisted him as she suffered from severe arthritis and daily pain, making mobility an absolute difficulty. His health restricted him from accessing upstairs belongings for around seven years before his passing. For more than 20 years, she directed preschool ministries beloved by both staff and children. Prior to that, she taught kids, aided individuals with special needs, and conducted training. After putting others first, it was finally her turn. Her son, who lived in a different state, deeply appreciated my no-cost assistance. This shelf held all of the Reader's Digest books. Feel free to share in the comments how many books you have at home, whether the ones you've read or plan to read someday. Is there a specific reason you're holding on to them that someone else might enjoy your books? Your insights are much appreciated. Check out that dust. And remember, I'm still trying to be very quiet because she is still sleeping. All of these books are going to be donated.
I had to work around the musical lighting racks because they were very heavy and I was unable to move them. You won't believe the number of books on the floor in the corner when you see it.
I'm going back to the rack of Reader Digest books. I'm putting them in a plastic bag because I'm out of boxes. I'm finally coming to an end of packing up all the books, and I get a text message from the homeowner. You're being mighty quiet, yet I'm assuming you're already here. I just woke up. I'll put on my clothes and grab me some breakfast from my little fridge, and I'll be ready for more boxes. So I took a picture of all these boxes and sent it to her. Her response back was, Good grief, Charlie Brown. She was amazed at what I got done in an hour and 45 minutes. Okay, time to move all of these boxes downstairs into the van to take to donation. On my way to the garage and behind this door is a food pantry and tool storage. But first I need to clean out part of the garage so I can get to the door. She donated this 1990s Firebird to her local church. And I needed to remove all the debris around it because they were going to come and tow it away the next day. His medical durable equipment will be donated to the church nursing home. I came across this green box and I could not get it open. When they returned for the Firebird the following day, she had the man pick the lock to open it and inside there was a cleaning kit.
Check out the old phone on the wall, and it actually works. We are still looking for the teddy bear, but I'll doubt if we find it in the garage. You'll see me setting aside certain items. It's worth noting that she has a friend who will come to collect all the tools and tool-like items. Therefore, they will not be donated. I'm also looking for any Firebird or car parts that will go into a box that will go with the car. As I was working on the table, her friend came with the trailer to start loading up all the bags of trash. Anything that I did not pull out under the shelf is too heavy to move and is going to be trashed or donated. Are you ready for this room? It looks like this was the catch-all for all the tool parts and extra food. So I started on this makeshift shelf to see what was here. Any food items or paper products was going to be donated to a local pantry. When I'm organizing homes, I often come across numerous empty boxes in plastic bags. Comment below about what the reason behind holding on to these items, and so many of them. Another empty box.
Okay, on to the back wall. All of this shop lighting is going to stay and be donated with all of the tools.
Now to start on the food behind the door. Of the food that's not expired, we'll go to a local food pantry. Any paper products that were open, I automatically threw away because I didn't know what bugs had walked over them. This spot did not come up easy, so I sprayed it and let it soak and came back to it later and got it clean. Thank you all for joining me on this journey. I want to remind you that if you or someone you know is facing a similar situation, reach out and help. Whether it's friends, family, or professionals, there's always support available. The items left over will go to her friend, and of course the windows will stay with the house. I'm so glad I could help this family.
I finished up about four o'clock and then took several trips to Goodwill. At the end of day two, I only walked about four and a half miles, or about 10,000 steps. This is day two of all the trash. Hopefully the trailer will be here the next day so we can get the garage cleaned out. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be now heading back indoors. See you on the next video.